So prognosis for children with autism. Can autism go away? A study that was published from the University of Connecticut several years, years back that got a lot of attention in, in the media said autism can go away. Now this was met with a lot of opposition and controversy in the autism community. But when you step back and look at what this means for autism to go away, I think it becomes more, more clear. All of us who treat autism will see children who clearly meet diagnostic criteria at some point in their life and then no longer meet diagnostic criteria. Often children who have received aggressive early, early therapies where even at times we may have to look back and remind the parents, um, look back at our old notes or old videos and, and just to convince ourselves that this child really did have autism and, and now they may be functioning typically. Uh, so there should be a difference made here between um, meeting diagnostic criteria or having any leftover symptoms, maybe some quirks and things. And this is where some professionals would say, you know, autism never goes, goes away. You give me those children who you say their autism has resolved, and by my examination, I'll find some sort of peculiarities in their um, uh, social interactions, uh, maybe their speech, uh, maybe their interests, and there may be some residual symptoms of uh, 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 children whose autism has um, what I might say uh, re resolved. But these are children who are functioning typically in school with normal re relationships and, and, and living you know, a more uh, typical sort of life. So the question is, can autism go away? Yes, if you're talking about strict diagnostic criteria. If you're talking about any evidence of autism whatsoever, that's the debatable part. 